If you're a dedicated homeschooling mom, and chances are good you wouldn't be here unless you were, you'll want to help your child use power lessons. These are like homeschooling rocket fuel that propels motivation, retention, and inspiration. So let's do this. Oh, and before we jump in, please like this video, and I invite you to click the bell on the top right of YouTube to subscribe so you can stay in the loop with up-and-coming parenting tips. If we haven't yet met, I'm Kelly Nault from joyfullyparenting.com here at the lake this week, and my passion's helping dedicated moms with strong-willed children eliminate family tension and exhausting tantrums so they can enjoy a loving family they oh so deserve. So what you may not know about me is I'm a recovering ple people pleaser through and through with high expectations. When it comes to homeschooling, I've often bitten off more than I can chew, sometimes heaping on too many expectations. Can you relate? That's why power lessons are key. Now the first step is to recognize your child's attention span, or lack thereof. As a helpful guideline, the norm for a child's focused attention is only double their age. Yep, this means if your child's eight, you're looking at a max of 16 minutes. So if you think your child's gonna sit at a desk rattling off worksheet after worksheet, you're likely sorely mistaken. No one said this homeschooling gig would be easy, right? This is why movement breaks, yoga, brain gym, dancing, aerobics, or simply moving from location to location is essential. Plus staying hydrated with water is key for optimum brain power. Totally simple, but often totally forgotten. So do you already do this? Do you do this enough? What would it take to add more fun to and get your child the brain breaks they need? Let me know. And also, let me humbly ask you to please pass this on to any homeschooling moms you think would like a little support. And until next time, may you rock it as your child's homeschooling mom. And when you don't, be super gentle with yourself.